a lot of people have asked me the same question like uh, why did I drop my residency and why I'm not following my dream of USMLE. I'm talking about my experience during my interviews. A lot of program directors were asking me like oh I see that you were a pediatric surgery resident in India and then now you are applying for internal medicine in, in the US. So what made you to change your decisions and some of the people which, uh, who I met during my rotations they asked me like why did you switch from a uh, uh, pediatric surgery residency to internal medicine residency and that too in America. So today I'm gonna like answer all those questions. So let me introduce myself. My name is Gaurav Mudgal and uh, I am soon to become an internal medicine resident in Detroit and uh, now my journey of USMLE has uh, come to an end like I matched into my dream program and dream residency. Let's get started. I come from a humble background in north part of India and I did my medical school from a government medical school uh, in north part of India and I, after my medical school I enrolled myself into a residency program in Delhi that is the capital city of India and from there I started my, my, my preparation of USMLE and my journey started as a small boy from a humble background who had this dream of becoming a doctor. and. If you don't have anyone in your family who is a doctor, the dream is actually really impossible. You see this dream as a very distant and impossible. And to make it worse, your relatives and uh, or, or like your neighbors, they criticize your dream and sometimes they do want you to drop it. So I, I face all of these and I would say uh, if I look back and if I can tell them that like I I trust myself and my family and now I'm a doctor so that's a very big thing the other hurdle was like not having a mentorship so my my parents they were not from medical background and uh, not even my family so no one was in medical field so it was really hard and uh, to even think about becoming a doctor it was a big hurdle after my high school I started preparing for medical school and uh, and at that time I could not get into medical school in the first go so I appeared again and with like uh, with constant effort I got into a government medical school where the fees was not a big problem because in government a medical school everything is subsidized and you don't have to pay a lot of money and you can easily uh, manage your finances so I was pretty lucky in that sense and I also got into a very good hospital where I learned a lot during that time I actually kind of figured my things like uh, from an average student I become a topper in my batch and I became uh, more towards more inclined towards medical science and more towards like pursuing my career like how should I think about uh, my career in medicine during my medical school I actually I was watching a show that was house MD and I really like that show because it was so much intense and you know like it, it was so much fulfilling you you can see like how doctors are like deciphering all those uh, critical critical cases and they're like working as a detective that kind of ignited that uh, that thing in me like I do want to become that kind of doctor and when I was like rotating in my hospital and uh, I was seeing the clinical cases and everything I realized I do want to do research and I also want to learn about medicine the same way like Americans and other people are doing. After watching that show, uh, this feeling of becoming a doctor kind of started in my head and I started searching about it and I found out like USMLE is the way you can become a doctor. So I didn't have that much knowledge about, about USMLE at the time so I went to my seniors and my professors and asked them like what is the procedure of doing it. So they said like uh, you can do one thing, you can research about it and in like last 25 years there's, there was no one who went to America to start that journey so I was the first one at that time and nobody knew about anything so they said like just follow the normal normal thing like becoming a doctor in India and prepare for need PG exam or AIMS exam and uh, that was the thing but I actually had this thought that like I, I asked myself like do I really want to do this USMLE journey? Do, do I really want to become a doctor in America? And there, this answer came in my head like yes, I do want to try. So at that time I, I started preparing for it passionately and, uh, and, and in my final year of MBBS I actually found out there's a, there was a guy like a, a kind of my friend in another medical college whose brother was actually doing USMLE. 
so he said actually i asked him like can you connect me with your brother so he said like yeah i can connect you with my brother but like he he has been doing this uh, process like usmle for past couple of years like four to five years and he could not get in so i said like let me talk to him so he connected me with that person and uh, when i asked him like i do want to do us happily i do want to become a doctor and how, what is the process like how can i become a doctor so at that time that person said like it is really hard and uh, it was actually like it's very impossible for a person uh, from a from a background like me to become a doctor and he could not get in so he said like it's really hard and you will lose track of time and it's 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 like he said it in the way that it is impossible so i actually became depressed and lost hope like okay so i like let's uh, drop this plan and focus on neat pg that is indian examination for post graduation after that incident i actually kind of lost hope and started preparing for my neat pg exam and i prepared for 3 months and i got a good rank in uh, neat pg exam and i chose a uh, pediatric surgery residency in a very renowned hospital and there were two reasons behind it first one was my, ne my nephew so my nephew is a special child and he got like treated upon in that hospital and i saw like the the working of the doctors over there and i was pretty impressed by the the way they used to practice medicine the second reason was that like when i was interacting with them uh during orientation they said like they'll help me in prepare for mrcs that is an exam for uh uk so if you want to become a doctor in um, united kingdom you can follow this exam and give this exam and later on you can become a doctor in united kingdom i started my residency and it was pretty much uh, overwhelming at that time because you're transitioning from student life to a resident life and it was pretty hard so what i did was like i i was diligently working to ace my uh, residency and i also was like uh, want to pursue mrcs also so i was like studying for both of them but uh, at like after 2 months there was a uh, student who was rotating in our department in pediatric surgery he came to me and he said like are you preparing for mrcs i said like yes and he said like i'm preparing for usmle so would you like to study with me and i i i asked him like how are you preparing and like what what kind of things are you doing and how how are you like uh, kind of maintaining your pace with the things and is it really difficult he said like it's a doable thing you just have to focus on it and uh, when i was studying with him i realized like this is this stuff i know and i also can do it so uh, i thought about it and uh, then i made up my mind like i also want to do it and i started preparing during my residency and uh, i used to follow three things u world first aid and pathoma and uh, my uh, my residency was pretty much hectic because i had to do calls and i i also have to be in the hospital for more than 12 hours every day and during the call it was more than 30 hours so it was pretty hectic so Uh, but i had this dream and i started like working for usmle and i started preparing and at that time i i was so much passionate about my dream that i kind of started prepare like studying during the rounds and even like if i'm sitting at like lunch uh, sitting for lunch or dinner i was like solving questions in u world along with my food so it was very hilarious at that time and uh, i studied for two and a half month and took my exam and it went very very good after my first step one result i became more confident about my decision and i started preparing for step two and i told my family till that time i didn't tell my family that i'm preparing for usmle so when i told them like i scored this much uh, this much in the step one and it is one of the hardest exam in the world and i did it so they were pretty happy but they were also like uh, worried about my decision like if i'm making a right decision or not so at that time they said like do it but like we'll assess the situation later on and i started preparing for step 2 like uh, in my residency and uh, i took that exam and uh, it was also very good like i scored really nice and uh, uh, i told my family that i do want to quit my residency and th that actually caught them off guard and they were like why are you taking this decision you can uh, go to america after your residency i quit my residency started my rotations and from there i applied 
and I got matched this year. So I'm really happy that in my first uh, application, like first cycle, I got matched into my dream program. So with this story, I do want to tell everyone that like if you have a dream, you only have one life and your dream is something that you do want like to achieve that dream. You should put effort and don't think about what other people will say. Just have faith on faith in yourself and go for it. Everything will be good. You just have to believe in yourself and God and family. Now let's talk about my decision of quitting my residency in India and pursuing my dream of USMLE and, and going for the residency in America. So first thing that I always wanted to train at a program where like uh, you get a lot of diversity. And I was actually like watching a video of, of a doctor who also went this way and he actually mentioned this thing like American people or like people in the West like doctors in the West they they write Harrison book and we follow here so it's better to get training from them or training at their place and practice medicine everywhere so first was like the pioneer training and like the good training that was kind of very motivating for me the second thing is like the diversity that you'll be getting in the hospitals third thing that I would say is cutting-edge technology and fourth thing is like a lot of mentorship is there a lot of chances of research is there and the fifth thing is that like you can practice medicine else everywhere like ev everywhere in the world you are eligible to practice medicine if you are uh, if you are a board certified doctor from America what else so research is also a very big frontier like if you are really interested in research so you can really learn about research and uh, and like work on things and you can do stuff that like a lot of people dream of sixth thing is work-life balance so it's really good like i'm not talking about uh, indian work-life balance but in uh, western countries the work-life balance is really nice like you do want to relax because a lot of times doctors have fatigue and a lot of times they have stress but if you have like good work-life balance then you can overcome these things and you can function really well so that was also a kind of motivating factor for me i would like to end this video with a very uh, very nice thing one of my seniors said to me that get rooted in east and spread your wings in the west so that means stay connected to your home country like get training from there or like you can come back also but learn from the best and you can utilize that knowledge to help other people so that was actually a big motivation for me with this video i actually want to tell everyone it doesn't matter like which stage you are on but if you have a dream and you want to pursue that dream this is the time right now is the time go for it and if you are, are determined and like you have the courage sky is the limit you can do anything so be vulnerable be passionate be diligent be hardworking, and success will come to you so with that i'm signing off bye bye guys see you in the next video